All right, folks, uh, this is the stack of uh, documents in Randy Dew's case. There's 700 and some odd pages, and that by no means is everything relating to the case. On top are the... Bill, $250. <laughs> are the CDs. There are six CDs in there. Um, everything that we could find that was uh, that we could get our hands on. There's still some stuff that is sealed. You'll notice the very top, top document there says sealed, and that was unsealed for some reason. So, yes, this is the joint case of Randall David Dew and Donna Marie Kozak. So, we're going to be looking over this stuff and seeing what we can glean from it, and that's obviously going to take some time. So, I just wanted to show you folks what we've been up to here it's it was rough trying to get all that stuff printed that was yesterday today's another day see you later this is carl alfred with yln tv bye bye okay um as i understand it joaquin you were on the phone with uh, an agent yeah the uh, marshal responsible for this facility and we were told by the officer that uh, we should call him to receive authorization his permission to visit the friend the people that we have uh, Randy do I called them I called him and talked to him I said to him that uh, I was told that I need to call him to get authorization to visit uh, Randy, and he asked if I was an attorney or what group. I told him that I was a commune law and duty administrator. And then he said that uh, I need to talk and ask permission for the state attorney who's in charge. I said, well, I was told that you are in charge. And uh, he said, well, I would not allow it. I said, do you know that you're aware that that the commune law grand jury investigation. If anyone uh, interfered, that's a crime of obstruction of law. And then he said, "Thank you very much. Have a nice day." And he hung up. Okay. So once again, the uh, the haughty attitude comes out. Well, this is going to be posted. Um, as soon as we can get to a point where we can up upload it, we will we will do so and uh, get this message out. Again, this is Joaquin de Amaretto and Carl Alfred reporting for YLN.TV. Thank you, and stay tuned okay, for more. Okay, yeah, we're ready. We're good. Okay. All right. This is Carl Alfred with YLN TV, and again with Joaquin de Amaretto, and we are in front of the Douglas County Department of Corrections here in Omaha, Nebraska. Can you explain, Joaquin, what just transpired inside? We came here with uh, our rights and with the will of we the people that we, the grand jury, can have our investigation to make sure that uh, the justice is for all. And we have here one people of we the people, Randy Do, that the facts indicate that he was arrested in violation of the civil rights United States Code 18 uh, criminal uh, procedures and uh, title 13 crimes uh, against civil rights so we came here and we asked for uh, a visit and to talk with the with the officer in charge which is Bill Billings and uh, the officer on the security was very, very professional. He attended us very, very well and guided us the instructions how to pass through security, our documents and things, and gave us a phone number uh, card. Who was Bill Billings? This Billings is the, is the marshal in charge of this facility in Douglas County. Okay. And that's why we were directed by the officer to call him because he needed to authorize the visit to any inn. Uh, we we don't want to come and give them ahead what we are doing. When the grand jury investigate is when we decide, not when they decide. So in courtesy, we call and we ask them what we are doing. We identify ourselves. We brought 
are documents showing that uh, we are elected by we the people and we file the documents in our county which are recorded for the records and when he knew that we were coming to visit Randy uh, he said why well I said well because he's one people of we the people and we heard that his civil rights have been violated and we want to know from him personally what's going on and also we want to give you the opportunity as a marshal and director of the facility to hear your side of the story because in every story there's two sides and then when he said well I will not allow that you gotta come to the uh, family's source and you gotta come when they tell you at the hours that they tell you and if you're not coming through an attorney we will not allow you to come in I say well you are aware that the grand jury is above the all courts and all uh, if we are we are in charge we don't need no authorities from no one we are in a criminal investigations and we can come wherever we want and at the hour that we want this is the desire of we the people this is the mandate of we the people and he said, well, thank you very much, goodbye. He don't like it to hear, but he was aware that this is a obstruction of justice, and thank God we have Carl, that he recorded all the conversation by phone that we were doing, and very glad that we are telling you that we are doing, we are walking the walk, and as you can see, Carl still alive, <laughs> doing his job, and I'm here. We both are facing problems, but we don't have adversity because we have the truth in our sights and we are just doing what every one of you have the right to do and showing you that don't be scared we can do it and it's by walking the wall thank you thank you very much Joaquin and that's our report from the Douglas County Department of Corrections on the 10th day of June it is getting close to midday so we will be breaking to uh, upload some of this information real soon and get it on the site for now, we just want to say goodbye. Again, this is Carl Alfred from YLN TV and Joaquin de Murata. So. We'll try not to lose this recording again, okay? <laughs> we are trying our best. It's not but because we are not doing it. All right? Thank we'll you. Get, we'll get it up soon, folks. Talk to, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.